So if you're anything like me and have a controller for your TV, Blu-ray player, and surround sound, then you might also have the same problem I do, which is controllers laying all over the place. And when you need that one controller, it always seems to be lost. That's why, in this video, I will finally put an end to the lost controller conundrum and design and 3D print a remote control holder where I can put all my controllers every time I am done with them and hopefully never lose one again. And since I don't like odd numbers, I'm going to go ahead and include my smart vacuum controller as well. One of the best tools you can have in my opinion for 3D modeling are some good calipers. We'll be using them in this project to get the exact dimensions of each controller. You will need to measure the width, thickness, and height of each controller. Now, my vacuum controller seem to have the same height and width as my Blu-ray controller, so I will only measure the thickness and combine it into this first figure. Another good idea is to number all of your controllers so you don't get them mixed up later. Now that we have taken measurements of all the controllers, I decided that the best place for the controllers would be behind my couch. So I needed to take additional measurements to design some hinges in order to hang my remote control holder. I couldn't find a protractor, so I used this thing I found in my garage. It did the job and I was able to find the right angle. Now, before I jump into the 3D modeling software, I usually like to draw some sketches. So here is what I am thinking. Just a simple hinge that will prevent the control holder from falling. I also want all the remotes to be sticking out just a little bit from the top so that they are easy to grab from the front of the sofa. The front view is simple. I want the controllers I will be using the most on the left hand side so that they are easier to grab and the ones that I use the least on the right hand side. Here is where the numbering of the controllers actually became useful. Now I also know that my LG controller is pretty thick towards the bottom so this left hand holder will be a little bit bigger than the rest of them. It may be easier to see from the top view what I mean. So I want the left hand holder to have sort of a circular shape to match the shape of the controller. And that's it. So I am pretty satisfied with this design so I will go ahead and start 3D modeling. I started off with a large rectangle and extruded it. From here I continued to just extrude cut the sections I don't need to get the general shape I drew in my sketch. Then I went ahead and added the pockets for all of the controllers. Finally, I added the finishing touch using the fillet feature. At the end, I also noticed the back portion was a little thick, so I trimmed it down to about a quarter inch. And that was it. I went ahead and saved it as an STL file so that I can open it in my 3D printing slicer. We'll get to that later.
first, I have to now design my hinges. I couldn't include this in the original 3D model because there wasn't an easy way to 3D print it without using supports. And I hate using supports, so I decided to print it separately and then glue the pieces together at the end. So this part was actually pretty simple to design. If you want to see the full tutorial on how I designed this in SOLIDWORKS, including the remote control holder, don't forget to watch my SOLIDWORKS tutorial video for this project. I will link it below and at the end of this video. Anyway, once we are done with our 3D modeling, we then have to prepare the model to be 3D printed using what's called a slicing software. I use Cura because it's pretty simple to use. All you have to do is open your STL file and manipulate it how you want it to print on your 3D printer. In my case, it didn't fit at first, so I had to first stand it upright and then rotate it 45 degrees. Then you just hit slice and it will give you a preview of how each layer will print and it also gives you the estimated time to complete the print. If you are okay with everything, you then just have to save it into your SD card. I did the same thing with the hinges. In this case, I prepared only one hinge. I probably could have made a copy and printed two hinges at the same time, but since it is such a small part, I figured it would be okay printing each one separately. Each one only took about an hour to print. Now for my 3D printer, I did a lot of research and this Ender 3 kept popping up as one of the best budget printers currently out there. So I decided to trust all the reviewers opinions and pick this bad boy up for a little less than 200 bucks. I will leave an affiliate link in the description below if you would like to purchase one for yourself. So once you insert your SD card, click the dial and select print from TF. Then select the file name you want to print. You then have to wait for the heated bed and nozzle to heat up to its optimum temperature and then the print will start. I usually like to look at the first layer and make sure everything is attaching to the bed. If everything looks good, then all you have to do is just wait for the print to finish. This one took almost a whole day to print, but the final result was perfect. All of, our, all of my remotes fit perfectly. Here is the exact time. It took 16 hours, 42 minutes, and 45 seconds to complete the print. So don't expect to get a 3D printer and just start printing everything you want in one day. Unless you will only be printing smaller items like the hinges I'll be printing next. This one took exactly 50 minutes and 33 seconds to print, so an hour and 40 minutes to print too. Now, to glue the hinges onto the remote control holder, I used Gorilla Super Glue and it worked perfectly. I just applied one tiny dot and held it for 10 seconds, and to my surprise, it actually made a really strong bond. Here is the final product.
Now I can lay down on the couch, grab the remote, and put it back whenever I'm done. No more missing remotes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more future projects.